Okay, welcome back. As you can see, I have a new figure, Clockwise Alex. Obviously, unlicensed figure, ripoff from Clockwork Orange, Alex the Large. And I'm really happy to have this figure. Um, even though I've got a custom here with the uh, Rocco. Tartamella head and um, posing pouch and the cane that will come as a set back in I don't know that's early days of my collecting so probably around about 2010 11 somewhere around there and um, there's been other figures over the years made by um, Various companies. Um, Rainman obviously has done one, and there was another company, CRM Toys, I think, or CM Toys. I think it's CRM. They've done a, a nice version, and um, I think that's the only two. That there might be another one. I can't remember. Just the uh, Rocco one, maybe. So anyway. I was in two minds about getting this because I've obviously got my custom, it's not perfect and this one won't be perfect either I don't think but I couldn't not get it for the price so anyway I'll come back to that in a minute big thanks out to uh, the man that everybody loves to hate as you can see there bought this on, a Wednes on last Wednesday and um, it's come today Monday so that's really really quick shipping and I couldn't, couldn't be happier I was really surprised seeing it turn up today it comes obviously in that plastic wrapper wrapped up in bubble wrap and it's got these corner protectors which really help I bought from Kit in the past I bought the Dread figure and uh, that did have a little bit of damage but this on the corners that's what seemed to get not this is wrapped up nicely so oh there's the corners so look the box has still got a bit of damage you know but it's not the main concern for me as long as the uh, contents are in intact the packaging is a nice bonus but it's not essential you're not going to I'm not going to display the packaging, but these are quite cool. A little bit of extra protection. And obviously if you wear uh, box figures, you're going to increase the weight and increase the, the shipping costs. So I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I'm a bit... I think this is probably the first review out there on this figure. Uh, I did check a few days ago, there was nothing up. Few figures by this company, Craft One or Craft, yeah, Craft One. Some people say Craft Tone, but so let's have a look at the box. You can see you got the Clockwork Orange font, Clockwise Addicts, one six scale collectible action figure. On the back, same warning, choking hazard, all that business. Watch out of the sharp edges or sharp points. Mm. Uh, ages 15 and up made in China craft owner right so without any further ado let's adjust this and I'll give you a little look everything will probably fall out of the packaging but, um, see if we can do this oh, what's his name I can't remember his name that'll be full that hangs around with Sean Long. Sean Long? Sean Long. And I see it up to bottom, that's the one with the hands. Really expressive hands. Let's try Do one of his reviews. Oh, I can't even get the fucking box out. No swearing, kids! Right, so. Here we go. Foam box inlay. Nice hot, well, not hot toys candy. 
craft home candy, I'll have a little munch on that later. Selection of hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And two head sculpts. Now, there's not a lot of difference between these two head sculpts. As far as I can see, I think the eyes are slightly looking upwards on this one. Hey, look, let me get them out and have a look. Get a proper look here. I think the hat is sculpted on. So that is a bonus in my... Yeah, it's pretty decent. Just looking through the viewfinder to see what you can see. And in hand, that is bloody good. That's my belly rumbling. You might be able to pick that up. That is bloody good. That's the reason I picked this up. Just see if I can get a better. Yeah, that is good. It's getting washed out by the light. But the lightness is very, very strong. Pictures, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Pictures and videos don't always do these things justice. And somebody did comment on one of the uh, posts on their Facebook that the paint job wasn't very good. Um, I'd say that's bollocks. I'd say it's very good. I mean, like, if you collect hot toys, you'll know the quality of hot toys. And like Dragon in Dreams did. I'd say it's on a par with the the Dragon paintwork. It's it's a bit um it's got the freckles, it's got all the hot toys freckles on there. And um so you're probably not seeing it very well with this lighting. Alright, let's try and A better look here. Yeah. Obviously, when you uh, yeah, no, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. I have to take some pictures and upload some slides or something. But anyway, I'll describe what I can see anyway. My naked eye. You've got um, got like the hot toys freckles. It's very um, uh, pale. It's very very pale paint job compared to like the skin tones on most hot toys sort of stuff. But he's Nick Malcolm McDowell was very pasty in the film. He's an English actor, so we've all got this pasty, you know, bleached skin. We don't live in California, so I'd say that is pretty bang on. And I say the eyes are looking up and to his left that scene at the start of the film and then other scenes where he's sort of looking up through his hat Let's see if I can get it I know this is very amateurish and very uh, probably like get on with it get on with the figure I don't care it's my review and if you don't like it Kiss my ass. Anyway, so that's that head sculpt. Really impressed with that. And I think the other head sculpt is pretty much the same, just with um, the eyes looking differently. Look at these hands. Very soft rubber, flexible. Should be easy to pop on and off, which is good. Um. Is it just the one tray? No, it's two trays. All right, let's get the figure out. Now, the, another reason why I want to get this is because mine is basically just a, a kit bash. And the, the parts I have aren't very screen accurate. This, to me, I mean, watching the film again a couple of nights ago, you know, they've got the, the shirt, the right sort of color, oh, not color. Like the right sort of, you know, looks like a kind of corduroy ribbed shirt. It's got the double pockets there, which mine hasn't got. Um, the braces are more accurate with this kind of rope effect here. 
and they fasten with the old style fastenings, the button sort of fastenings. In the inside, the posing pouch or the cod piece is really nice, nicely done. It's just fabric with a bit of hard plastic in there or cardboard, it feels like. The cufflinks on mine, I think, are a little bit more screen accurate. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, mine are a little bit more screen accurate. These are just basic. They're just basic. I say I'm a bit of a, a bit of a um, anorak when it comes to trying to get details right. I'm, I don't always ex execute them perfectly, but I do look for them. The braces look good. Plastic braces. I did notice on some other reviews of these figures that the bodies are very sturdy, heavy bodies. And yeah. That's a bit of a that's a bit rubbish. Having that as loose as that, but bloody hell. That head sculpt is spot on. Let's see if I can it's really hard to like this because of the hat as well. Because you've got I've got lighting from above. Let's see. Now look at that. When he pulls that expression, he's kind of leaning forward, leering. I mean, I can see it perfectly here. It's not coming out as good on the viewfinder, but that is a really, really good head sculpt. So I'm really happy that I purchased this because um, I think this one will sell out really quick. The first batch did sell out really quick. People that pre-ordered this figure. And I was lucky enough to um, get one of the the next batch. I don't know if he's still got any left. But if I was you, and if you're a fan of this film, jump on this one, because this is a bargain. I mean, I'm a tight ass. I didn't even want to spend what I spent on this. And this is really worth the money. The body does feel very stiff, so I mean you can pose this without a stand. Let's see the articulation. You got the rotation at the the waist. It's got an ab crunch. <laughs> the arm doesn't want to move at all. Let's see. No, I don't want to force that. It feels very stiff. Make sure I've got it lined up the right way. Yeah, that's going to take some work to uh, to loosen that body up. That is really stiff. But um, my overall first impressions are really good. I mean, let me have a look at the boots. Nice boots, real laces, soft plastic or rubber. Trousers, really nice cotton feel to them, thick, but you know, don't look like they'll restrict the figure, neither does the shirt, it's a nice, nice kind of material, it's kind of velvety to the touch, and I say the body is really tight, so that's the only thing that's restricting it right now. The head is just one of those type, got no connector inside, so you can see it just easily slips off. Put a bit of blue tack or silly putty, whatever you want to call it. Put that in there. And there you go. You've got the eyes looking up or the eyes looking to the side. And I'd say the head sculpts are pretty much identical. Can't see much of a difference at all except the eyes. But who's complaining? You've got a spare head sculpt? You got a figure, no stand, but you got hands. Oh, there's a bit of weight here. Oh, interesting. Mmm. Up to some naughtiness and nastiness, yes. They've only put. They've only put metal parts in here. Now, I say, I paid £100 for this figure. Move that out of the way. 
hundred pounds shipped from Hong Kong. Is it Hong Kong or China? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, Hong Kong. Same difference, whatever. And everybody rates other sellers for posting their stuff out next day delivery and all that. But for hundred pounds shipped, sent on a Wednesday, no, oh, Thursday morning, I should say, and to arrive Monday here in the UK is bloody good. All right, let's have a look at the cane. You got the pair of testicles at the end, very nice. I think in the film they're a little bit more shiny, but anyway, so that is a solid piece. Whereas my other one, custom one, is like uh, you can take this apart, but to be honest, I prefer that because the other thing keeps falling apart. And so you can pose it with the cane, walking along, strolling along, hitting people, whatever. Or you can sort of put that down and then he's got that which comes out the end of the dagger. Now that feels like metal. As is that. Nice bit of weight to it. So the body with the stiff joints will hold that no problem. And then you've got the blade. And that's what the uh, warning's all about. Nice if that was more chrome effect, but it's uh, hmm, it's different style. It's got like it's got uh, four sides to that blade. I'm not sure if that's screen accurate, but I'll have to double check that. So that's nice. And then you've you've got um, the mask, which is the cock nose mask, which he wears. And these droogies were in the uh, surprise visit when they uh, do some naughtiness and nastiness to uh, the lady. That's just a bit of plastic. It'd be it's a shame that isn't doesn't have some milk. You know, it's not just like his glass from the Corova milk bar. But um, I might put some uh, what you call it silicon or something in there just. So it simulates the milk. And then you've got this, which it's nice that they included, but it would be nice if it had a better strap. And my one's got kind of like elastic. This is just a clear. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just focusing on that. So there's that. That's, they're pretty tricky things to put on. So I won't do that. I'll just leave that there. And just give you my overall thoughts. I mean, I know this is a pretty shabby run through. It's not a proper in-depth review, even though it's going on for nearly 20 minutes. But um, a little bit disappointed that, um, not in the figure, but in certain people that are knocking Kit Chen and um, won't review his figures because of drama and the uh, the aggro it causes. I'm not going to mention who, but yeah, a little bit disappointed. It's a good figure, and this and these times where we've got all this rubbish from Avengers and Batman and Superman, I'm not interested in any of that. Maybe I'm just too old and set in my ways, but. To me, this is a classic film. If you don't understand it, then you're missing out. You should check the film out. And if you are a fan of the film or even have a passing interest, this figure is a bargain. So I hope you enjoyed this little run through. And that's 20 minutes, so I might have to cut this down and start again anyway thanks for watching fairly well brothers fairly well <laughs>